Resilience, the ability to bounce back from adversity, growing and thriving in the face of challenges. Resiliency to me means just having that mental aptitude to push through any challenges that you may uh, encounter. Today's Army and National Guard leadership recognize the sacrifice that our warriors and their families make and agree that they deserve the best opportunity to be successful in all of life's battles, personal and mission related. Present day soldiers certainly have their fair share of challenges manifested as deployments, the pursuit of being a precision soldier, both physically and mentally, occupational concerns, spiritual struggles, and family slash relationship difficulties. This has allowed me to like want to put forth more effort to kind of be the best and see the positive and oh I have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning I really don't want to go running right now but being able to see the outcome of what I'm going to have and that I will get to keep that 300. Developing comprehensive skills that build resilience in the lives of U.S. service members is the priority and is now proudly synchronized in all aspects of service in the way ahead. The Resilience Training Program is comprehensive doctrinal training with proven effectiveness leveraged by years of empirical and peer-reviewed data. The Resilience Training Assistant Course, or RTAC for short, is facilitated by Kentucky's best and brightest master resilience trainers over a five-day period. The course is dynamic and interactive with large and small group training. Soldiers are taught resilient skills, how to apply them, and how to instill these skills in others. It's very positive to see that we have this training going on in the military so that if I am ever you know, facing a problem that hopefully I have an NCO in charge of me who would be able to um, use training like this to kind of help me out in my personal life or in my military life. Some of the elements that I'm going to take back from this training and put them back into my work week, uh, dealing with my soldiers on a drill weekend, uh, dealing with my family is the ability to stop and slow down and think through the situation I'm encountering. I look forward to using this in the office with my staff to where we can actually relate and I can see the good that's going on. I can take away from that step back and say, well, this would be a better process or they can give me that same feedback. And same thing at home. I'm hoping this will make me a better husband, a better father, and allow me to uh, connect in a totally different way and be more resilient to the stresses of life that come involved. The need to develop resilient skills has never been in higher demand. We as an organization are suffering from high rates of PTSD, depression, and other mental related illnesses associated with stress and battle fatigue. We have suffered from high rates of suicide and thoughts of suicide. The Kentucky National Guard has developed a unique out of the box comprehensive approach to bring resilience training to the selfless warriors of our deserving organization. My expectation was we were going to come to Kentucky and just like all the other uh, venues that I've visited, you know, we're going to sit in a classroom and we're going to teach the skills. But here again, you're, you're actually applying the skills, utilizing the horses to, to use those competencies, you know, self-awareness, being around the horses and, and your environment and knowing what's going on. The Central Kentucky Riders for Hope, or CKRH facility, Nested within the beautiful Kentucky Horse Park is the host site of our course. CKRH's therapy horses complement the training as they are used to create an out of the classroom training challenges. Community partnerships and resources like that of Cardinal Hill Rehabilitation Center where soldiers visit patients while in uniform to help deliver patient physical therapy are utilized to complement and reinforce the training and foster an optimistic perspective along with gratitude. There was this old gal sitting in the room watching television and uh, knocked on her door and went and had a chat with her. And, uh, her name was Marilyn, she's 65, she's old, she's old country girl. She was ready to do whatever needed to be done in, in order to get where she needed to go. 
and if that wasn't going to happen for her, I had every confidence in, in just the, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes that I got to spend with her, that if that didn't work for her, that she'd get along with whatever was next. The overall setting, the class, the property, horses, and student interaction is designed to reinforce the 12 resilience producing skills presented and the cornerstone of resilience training, which are the six core competencies. Number one, self-awareness, identifying one's own thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. Number two, self-regulation, regulating impulses, emotions, and behaviors to achieve goals. The Army by nature, it seems like we've always trained resilience in one form or fashion, how to take care of ourselves in the field, how to take care of other soldiers using our battle buddy. But this really brings it home. It may put a different nomenclature to it, a different title on what we're doing. But it's so important to have soldiers and leadership understand how to take a step back and think through a process to where we can react to an event with a good logical answer without it lending to stress, irritability, or any of these factors that can fall into that. Resilience is a wonderful tool and we need to be utilizing this on a daily basis with our soldiers. Three, optimism. Realistically hunting for the good in life while fostering a hopeful outlook. Find stuff that even maybe as little as you waking up in the morning and being able to live life and be blessed enough to do that, that you're finding the good stuff in life. Four, mental agility. Understanding the perspective of others while remaining flexible and accurate. Five, strengths of character. Harnessing one's top strengths to accomplish goals, overcome challenges, and enhance performance. We do a lot of physical work in the infantry. We do a lot of physicality uh, that's involved in our line of work. Uh, so therefore, re resiliency training gets, gets you through uh, that mental aspect to get you through a physical event, uh, such as a PT test or your next deployment. Uh, and, and the more positive you are about getting through those uh, physical events, uh, the, the better the outcome will be. Last but not least, six, connection. Building strong relationships through positive effective communication, empathy, and a willingness to ask for help. Resilience training and the direction our program travels is right. To teach soldiers resilience is to build hope and enhance performance. The enhancement of remaining task focused and harnessing a successful mindset. The hope to increase the effectiveness and efficiency of our military organization and to exceed our standard of mission accomplishment and performance excellence. The hope to foster resilience in all aspects of soldiering, mental, physical, social, spiritual, and family related, and the ability to bounce back from life and army related challenges while growing and thriving in the face of adversity. Resilience, it matters, it's right, it is Army Strong.